behold, the Kreger Electronics EMB Mark III Shirky. Hand-built, hand-wired, all-tube boutique tone in a remarkably beautiful package that you can almost still recognize. If you've been watching this series since we got this project started eight weeks ago, folks, the moment has arrived. Consider this 1997 Marshall JTM30 1x12 combo officially flipped. Now, admittedly, much of what originally made up this Marshall wound up in Craig's trash can, but what was put in to replace all that has turned this into a far more classic, much more musical, one-of-a-kind guitar amplifier. After I left last week, Craig popped the lid on the original EMB to review the actual circuit layout rather than just the diagram to ensure the shirky matched up as much as possible. He discovered a couple of minor discrepancies and asked me to bring the amp back in to have those taken care of. He also recalled that the original EMB uses a 12AY7 in the first preamp tube position as a gain limiter and wanted to swap out one in place of the stock 12AX7. But now all of that is done and the Shirky is ready to go. The Shirky's machine, most entertaining channel you've ever seen. He's always making lots of interesting scenes for you to watch on YouTube. Now, let's get some important tonal comparisons out of the way. You may recall, Craig and I felt the Shirky sounded and felt far better with Craig's 6L6 power tubes in it. So much so, in fact, that I already bought a matched pair to replace the stock 5881 power tubes. Let's take a listen to the 5881s under an SM57 microscope to see just how different they sound compared to the new 6L6s. I'll admit it, there's just really not that much difference, even with a mic stuffed into the speaker. But when you plug a guitar into it, the difference becomes far more obvious. And as the main user of this amp, to me it's certainly well worth the price of the 6L6 tubes. Let's do one more quick comparison between the stock Marshall branded 65 watt Celestion speaker and the Celestion Vintage 30 I've got in my custom Kreger cabinet. Craig wasn't convinced that the stock speaker was going to cut it and felt the V30 might round off the highs quite nicely. Wait, hang on a second. Let's hear that back again. Either I did something wrong miking up the V30, or I prefer the stock speaker, one or the other. I guess that'll save me from having to buy another speaker for now. I'll consider that an unexpected bonus. And that means it's time for a full playthrough. <laughs>
Folks, my new amp is absolutely everything I'd hoped for. So much more care went into each step of putting this amp together than Marshall could ever afford to put into any of their amps. We've witnessed it all together. And now we're closing this series out. This was my first YouTube series, and I had no idea it was this much fun to put together. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you all taking the time to watch it. It only seems sensible for me to keep going, and I hope I've captivated you all enough to bring you back for more. I've gotten started on a series about guitar pedals next, and as you might have guessed, Craig Barnett will be back once again to kick that series off with us. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on Sure he's the she, most entertaining channel you've ever seen. He's always making lots of interesting scenes for you to watch on YouTube.